The HAL Tejas MK2 is not merely an evolution of India's indigenous fighter program but a major technological leap that reflects the country's growing aerospace maturity. With lessons learned from the Tejas MK1 and MK1A variants, HAL and ADA have taken bold steps to redesign almost every aspect of the jet, from its aerodynamic structure to its electronic systems. The result is a larger, more powerful, and more mission-flexible aircraft. The MK2 has been envisioned to bridge the operational gap between light and heavy fighters, offering multi-role capability without the high operational costs of twin-engine platforms. This makes it a highly strategic addition to the Indian Air Force's future combat fleet, designed to replace aging platforms such as the Mirage 2000 and MIG-29, while complementing heavier jets like the Rafale and Su-30 MKI. Another remarkable improvement comes in the jet's flight dynamics and overall handling characteristics. The introduction of canards, which are small aerodynamic surfaces located near the nose, significantly enhances agility and control at high angles of attack. This not only gives the pilot greater maneuvering flexibility during dogfights but also stabilizes the aircraft during takeoff and landing. Combined with a redesigned delta wing structure, these aerodynamic refinements allow for increased lift faster roll rates, and improved combat agility. Engineers have also focused on stealth features, incorporating radar-absorbent materials, serrated panel joints, and smoother surfaces to reduce radar signature. These stealth optimizations ensure that the Tejas MK2 remains harder to detect and track, giving it an advantage in modern electronic warfare environments. One of the most powerful aspects of the Tejas MK2 is its engine, the General Electric F414 INS6. This engine produces nearly 98 kN of thrust, giving the aircraft superior thrust-to-weight ratio compared to its predecessor. It enables faster acceleration, better climb rates, and a projected top speed approaching Mach 1.8. The jet's fuel system is designed for both internal and external refueling, extending its range to around 3,000 km in ferry mode. This gives the MK2 the endurance required for long-range missions and patrols. The engine's digital control system also integrates seamlessly with onboard diagnostics and flight control software, making maintenance easier and more predictive. These features collectively ensure that the MK2 will have both raw power and operational reliability, crucial traits for a frontline combat aircraft. Inside the cockpit, the Tejas MK2 presents a futuristic environment tailored for pilot comfort and mission efficiency. The large area multifunction displays provide real-time data visualization, including flight parameters, radar tracking, and weapons management. A new helmet-mounted display system allows the pilot to lock on targets just by looking at them, drastically reducing reaction time during combat. The flight controls have been designed around the HOTAS hands-on throttle and stick concept, keeping all essential inputs within easy reach. The panoramic touchscreen interface reduces clutter while improving situational awareness. These human-machine interface upgrades not only modernize the cockpit but also reduce pilot fatigue, allowing longer missions to be flown safely and effectively. The avionics suite of the Tejas MK2 is equally advanced. The aircraft will be equipped with the indigenous UTAM AESA radar, which provides superior tracking, targeting, and resistance to jamming compared to traditional mechanically scanned radars. Coupled with an integrated electronic warfare suite and infrared search and track sensors, the MK-2 will be able to detect, evade, and engage enemy aircraft more effectively. The data fusion capability ensures that all information from various sensors is combined into a single comprehensive tactical picture, giving pilots unmatched situational awareness. In addition to air combat, the MK-2 will carry a wide range of weapons including air-to-air -air missiles like Astra, precision-guided munitions, anti-radiation missiles, and glide bombs such as the smart anti-airfield weapon. This multi-role flexibility allows the jet to shift seamlessly between air dominance, ground attack, and electronic warfare missions. As development progresses, HAL aims to make the Tejas MK2 one of the most indigenized fighter jets ever produced in India, with an estimated local content of over 80% once serial production begins. This not only supports self-reliance but also reduces long-term operational costs and dependence on foreign suppliers. The first prototype rollout is anticipated by the end of 2025, with the first flight targeted for early 2026. 
After a rigorous testing phase, the aircraft is expected to achieve initial operational clearance by 2028 and enter service around 2029 or 2030. While challenges such as funding, testing delays, and performance refinements remain, the overall momentum behind the program appears strong. If all goes as planned, the Tejas MK2 will mark a defining moment for Indian aviation, a fully homegrown fighter jet capable of matching global standards in speed, technology, and versatility, symbolizing a new era of aerospace confidence and capability for the nation.